Hello and welcome back to me playing XCOM and within season 3. Last time we saved India, I almost said Egypt, but this time we're going to Egypt to to uh, do some cleaning up from the alien abductions. I almost forgot what I'm doing, I'm almost forgetting. I've checked around and it's an easy mission actually, so I'm sending a bit of a weaker team, a captain, major, sergeant, a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well Goliath won but in my heart he is oh my god I can I cannot rename him I can only dismantle him that's bullshit wait wait <laughs> whatever that's a slunch mission Dalek is coming along just because he wants to punch some things yeah that's my reasoning behind that anyway <clears throat> Dropship has arrived. let's begin a soul shall we we're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. So depending on who we're actually meeting up with, we're gonna send in Tis to do some capturing. We want those weapons and we want them real bad. Because plasma weaponry is good. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. If we're lucky, of course. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Oh, okay. There we go. There's already two groups of enemies right there, and the cyber disc. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, fun. oh. Have I just seen them move? Oh God, no. It's an Overwatch. Job, you're gonna be fine, man. Don't you worry about it. We got you covered. So, those two seekers are out there. Like, right here. Honestly, the cyber is the one that I'm most afraid of. And the fact that we cannot see him, gosh darn it. So, here's what we're gonna do You're the only one that sees the cyber discs. Cyber disc. My keyboard is not responsive again. Okay, uh, we're gonna position our team. Man, can you trigger that Overwatch? That would be amazing. Go, I can! No, he can't. He definitely can, but he can definitely shoot at this dude. It's free damage. Okay. <clears throat> now the question is positioning Dalek in such a way that the Seekers do as less damage as possible without risking any one of my teammates at that. I think we're gonna move this over here. Still not triggering the overwatch. Well, the, the guy is over there. It's a bit hard to trigger the overwatch, I guess. If I were to pick who doesn't get shots, it would be probably Brent and Dalek. I need those guys to get the Get the kill on the, uh, whatchamacallit, dude. Oh yeah, this guy provides cover, I forgot, he's an alloy shift. Take it to 55. Nope. Okay. I need Brent and uh, Dalek for uh, that guy. Well, I need to get this guy, I'm for Okay. Sergeant Jobby has earned a promotion, good. Okay, we're gonna move now. Uh, Brent can stay there. We're gonna move Dalek ever so slightly over here. And we're gonna overwatch with the, these two guys. The reason behind this is... That I expect a Seeker coming at us. There it is. Hey! What's up? Yes, he's going on Jobby, I think. Brent on this point. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> okay, that's taken care of. Now there is another seeker and there is still the cyber disc. Cyber disc of which backs off. Well, color me all sorts of surprised. It's not bad, necessarily. I just did not expect it in the slightest. Go there. God have mercy upon your soul. We're gonna recover that meld. Even if it's the last thing I do on this mission. God forbid it's not. 
Because I'm pretty sure if it's the last thing I do on the mission, then that means that everyone dies. And <laughs> that's not optimal. Uh, no, let's not do that. Well, we're gonna position everyone in nice, um, a little nice bunker. And now we're gonna overwatch everyone. Whoever makes a silly move dies. Be it Seeker or be it Cyberdisc. Cyberdisc right now is of no concern to me. That Not that big of a concern to me, anyway. We have a lot of shots. We have a lot of shots. So... Is it coming from the sky? Oh, yes, he is. And this triggers all the overwatches. All the misses. All of the... Oh, that's such a pain in the butt. But... But, there is always a but. Uh, let's recover this mount. Let, let's make our, uh, let's make our, um, oh, I know this map. It's the, yeah, it's the, the one that usually you get the bomb disposal of, which I hate a lot. Okay, we're gonna go inside. Thus far, we've only met mechanical units, so no, you cannot capture mechanical units. It's simple as that. You, you can... You can, uh, I think, buy an upgrade for the arc thrower to capture temporarily drones, but not. You don't think you can capture mechanical units with an arc thrower. So right now, safety in numbers inside this shop. Brand hall. Oh. Will do. Let's go there, man. Thing is, with all the misses and over missed Overwatch as opportunities, uh, we're basically getting. Uh, is there no one else out there? No? Okay, cool. We're basically getting a bit low on ammo, but uh, there's definitely some overwatches we can do. We're gonna do those. As long as you're on uh, only one ammo depleted, or if you're a brand because you're a special guy, um, you're gonna go into over- Hello! Okay, that's all the overwatches for a single person that is... Everyone hit it! Brent even put a bullet in it for good measure. Okay. You know, no cyber disc. Okay, cool. Well then, we have recovered a meld canister. Let's uh, take this opportunity to reload. Except for her. She didn't even trigger the overwatch. How the hell? Oh, yeah, maybe the seeker was going on her. That, that, that might be the reason. So we're gonna reload this turn so that uh, basically. We have some bullets to go on with. Dalek could use the jump jet module next turn. On my way. Jet boot module, not the jump jet module, whatever. Same thing, same difference, same difference. Okay, let's position everyone back it outside. Maybe we're gonna see that cyber bro sometime. The the thing I'm most worried about is that the cyber disc might have an overwatch over there, and if I send in Dalek, he might get hurt, but it's just a necessity, you know? Out of necessity, I should be doing it, maybe. What other entrances do we have to the rooftop, anyway? I think it's there is there should be a ladder there. Uh, it's a pipeline. Well, we can work with that, I think. We're gonna send everyone outside, and we're gonna send them into Overwatches. Heading to that location. And things should be fine. Okay, everyone Overwatch. Everyone is uh, fully reloaded now, so there is no reason not to do this. I guess that's the noise of a cyber disc. Cyber disc. Okay, Dalek. God, am I glad I took someone as tanky as you in this mission. Show us how to fly! Hello. Yeah, that's an overwatch. Damn it. And it's probably a hit, too. Damn it. <laughs> Please. Cyberdisc Senpai. Flamethrower don't work on him. Fair enough. Take a shot straight into the face, fool. Six damage, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Now we just have to send everyone jolly inside there and shoot him as many times as we possibly can. Go, Tis! Okay. He has a good position with a 100% chance to hit. Haha! <laughs> Two damage. It's not as great as I thought it would be. 
I don't think if I send Brent back there, he's gonna see him. Unfortunately. And we kinda lack the general ordinance. You're gonna be fine if you go there, right? Yeah. Sure, he could grenade all three of us, but you know, sometimes you have to take some risks. Please don't miss. Thank you. That's a lot of damage, actually. Okay, Cunningham, you cannot go up there, so... Screw the pleasantries. Maybe you may, may be able to see him from there. No. I'll try. No, you don't. Okay, then. Brent will have to dash up there. So what's gonna happen? And position him in a relatively safe piece of corner. Like there. Hope best. This guy might be the last alien on the mission, honestly. It was an easy mission. God, God if I know. I should have used a grenade with her. I'm gonna use a grenade next turn. Whatever. Whatever. So what's gonna happen now? That's a grenade! Now that's like a boom boom! Ah! Well, that's a first. I had no idea those things could do that. Well, everyone just got a bit hurt. You silly assholes, they did not do that. Brent, go there. Please don't take no, no 27 aliens. Good. Get a hatchet on him. We probably should distance everyone in case if he dies. And by that, in case if the cyber disc dies in a kaboom boom explosion. The kaboom generation is real. Okay, Tis, go there. Tis, you have a lot of health, man. You actually can hit physically. It's a miss. That's unfortunate. Dalek has really good shots at him. Quite honestly, he can tank it. Go! One damage. Okay, do just one more damage and then the grenade is enough from cutting him. Whatever happens now, if Jobby hits or misses, we kill him. No, Jobby hits. Hit? It's the mixture between hit and kill. No one got hurt. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. That's it. I did not know that the cyber disc could go fucking spin all around the place and explode. That is a first. I never saw that attack. I really expected a grenade. No, he just like... Boom. What? Well, we have a couple of injuries, not nothing too bad. They... Go fuck yourself, game. Uh, Colonel! Colonel Brent, of course. In the zone, get a flank, killing a flanking... Flanks or cover target with the sniper rifle does not cost an action. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, revive or suppression. Revive or suppression. Definitely suppression. Honestly, suppression is the best thing ever. Okay, welcome to the team of never to see again. To see you again. Eight days might be a lot for this. Granted, but... <sighs> what was this mission? This was all fucking cybernetic things. Be in touch, Commander. Uh huh? Panic increase in Mexico for a bit more than uh, what I expected. Meaning that I'll have to send in the satellites to Mexico. Okay, cool. Whatever. Whoops. Whoops. Satellite coverage, Satellite now, coverage available. now available. Egypt, Over. Nigeria. What's up with Egypt? And mm, just send this dude. Slim. Load out. Give him one of those. That's fine. Okay. Now, oh, damn it. God damn it. I had to send him. Loadout is fine? Yes. Okay, send a parody. Later. To disrupt exalt cell in Egypt. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by Okay. For the we are now we're gonna on your orders. launch satellite to Mexico. Unfortunately, I had not foreseen the fact that uh, it would increase panic by free. Well, whatever. We're just gonna delay a bit the South African satellite. Wait, only two satellites left? 
We just need two more satellites? Is that correct? That is correct. Engineering, build facilities. We have an uplink coming. What? 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 Wait a second, so... You get four satellites per uplink. You get up to six. Yeah, I guess you need a single nexus if you want to keep all countries, but since I lost plenty countries. One, two, three, four. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You didn't even need a nexus! We just put them four like that, and I had no freaking clue. It's 16. There's 16 countries total. My mind is blown! <laughs> Beautiful! Okay, cancel report. BAM! Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. This didn't happen. We never let a UFO ask. This is what happened in India, didn't, wasn't it? This is literally what happened with India, and that's why basically they were like, Hey, buddy, we're no longer friends, okay? That's really weird. I am... What? That's really, really weird. Apparently when the, 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 the month passed last month, Basically, there was a sat um, not a satellite, but rather just a uh, alien craft navigating around, and I never, never got to... Unless if they count for um, for uh, South America, because I have no satellite coverage in South America. Without satellites, you don't see UFOs. But that would be bullshit. Remember, yeah, whatever. We will be watching. <laughs> Rolling in money, money. Okay. This morning, I'm about to get the achievement. Okay, now then. Oh yeah, but I have this uplink. Of course, I forgot about this uplink. But this shouldn't be related because, like, this gives us two. We're gonna have eight. This gives us four. This gives us one, and this gives us one. This gives us six. In this order, satellite uplinks will be enough. Okay, cool. I'm just wondering if I should build a temporary uh, energetic solution because I'm running out of energy. So how long? 22 days for the uplink. Uh. Well, let's start excavating a tiny bit. I might have to build a temporary thermo generator here until we get an Illyrium generator here. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but our power constraints are a bit real. Mech close combat, we don't need that. Can we upgrade mech? No. Okay then, uh, let's buy items. Uh, we're gonna order up some two satellites. So two satellites in order. Uh, we need maybe a couple of Phoenix cannon. Well, maybe like let's order a couple of Phoenix cannon. So in order, let's build a single Carpus armor. Uh, for this, it's all fine. And that's where my money spending goes out. So we have okay. Let's uh, change this one. And it load out into Phoenix Cannon, confirm. And another Phoenix Cannon over here. There we go. Okay, that's good. That should be fine. Shift suppression, perfect. Uh, I don't think I can build anything, right? No. I need energy. I just need energy. It's unfortunate, but I do need energy. Power, rather. Okay, cool. I don't have new projects, do I? No. Okay, cool. Scan for activity! Oh. Genetic slab! Okay. Operational. 
Okay, let me just check a uh, tiny bit. Where do I send people into the genetics lab? Is it in I research? I appreciate your efforts yes. to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic education <coughs> program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefield than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. Commander, Indeed. the genetics lab is now prepped and fully staffed. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully staffed. You just we can said that. Genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. You just said that. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I have mind hate matter, I think. Meaning that those that are genetically enhanced cannot have psi powers. Who of you guys that actually watch this want genetics to be part of them? If that makes any sense. Do you want genetics to be part of you? If yes, please say so in the comment section and we're gonna figure it out together. Okay, well, we have that now. Cool. Uh, so who is available? Probably everyone is available by now. Let's check. Is anyone? No! Dargan is out for five days. Well, he got hit quite hard on that terror mission, but he did the job quite well. Kermit the Frog Metal is disturbing me, guys. It's really disturbing me. Anyway, we're gonna send some good teammates here. It might be possible that right now uh, the... Uh, Jabronis of Exalt already have laser weaponry. If they do, then even better. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I had to cut there a bit because uh, someone knocked on my door. Thanks everyone for watching and until next time, be well. A bit ridiculous episode, sorry. Sorry! Until next time, be well. Cover operation. Bye!